Welcome to Fire Team Chat for the week of June 9th, 2015. I am Jose Otero, and this week on the show, we are talking about the Taken King leaks, and That's it right. is a thing. We're going to spend some time talking a little bit about that. We have a summary from Kotaku about what to expect. Uh, then we're going to talk about the elimination game type, which was just added to Destiny yep. as an alternative to Trials of Osiris. Trials mm-hmm. of Osiris. And lastly, not an alternative. You, Let's not call it an alternative. Let's not call it an alternative. Yeah. Practice ground Practice. for that. Yeah, and then go. lastly, last week we asked you, what do fans want to see at E3 from Destiny? And, and we got read a bunch of ton of emails. responses. <laughs> I did. I finally yeah. read our emails. Thank you, But sir. joining me once again, Fran Mirabella. Hello, everybody. Dustin Laguerre. Hi. And let's kick it off with the Taken King leaks. So apparently yeah. Kotaku was given some information about yeah. Destiny's next expansion. It actually wasn't Kotaku first. It first showed up on Reddit from Planet Destiny. Oh, and surprise. And then Kotaku corroborated that Stories. Yes. Okay, got They're it, got it. All right. And then they had a third official. corroborator. <laughs> okay, yeah. so yeah. Let, let's not so pass it was, back it was, for yeah. too long. But Basically, let's get it's that. looking like this Give is credit all credit is the short way yeah. to put yeah. it. Credit where credit's due, you know, Reddit, thank yeah. you as always. And yeah. the Taken King has a price tag of $40, according to this information. And there are three new subclasses in a raid. which Saying is for September, by the way. Saying for say. September, good point. Uh, keep it going, guys. What, what else is on here? This $40 is on there. Forty dollars is on there. Yeah. That's quite a price. What do you guys think? Well, let's let's run down the All quick right. details, right? right? You know me. I'm such a stickler. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah, it's so September 2015 for forty bucks. So not a full price that we thought for maybe a full game. There will be a new raid, supposedly with Oryx, who is Crota's father. Yeah. There will be a new enemy or race potentially. They're talking about the Taken kind of backing Oryx, mm-hmm. and then you've got new strikes and PvP maps. Actually, a pretty good handful, you know, supposedly being rumored, but no specific amount. Mm-hmm. Um, three new subclasses and new abilities. We've all seen that slot sitting there. It's mm-hmm. saying that Hunter will get their Void, Warlock will get their Arc, and Titan will get their Solar. So, yeah. mm. pretty interesting. It is. So, where to start with this? Forty dollars. <laughs> Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Start. I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot. Take my money. So, <laughs> I've already played the game for five hundred hours. House of so. Wolves and uh, right. Dark Below. That's forty dollars. That's yeah. two separate. So expansions. yeah, let's let's just do the quick yeah. calculation. We've yeah. all paid about. How much right now? Um, Those are twenty bucks a pop, by the way. Yeah, so we've actually yeah. all paid about a hundred bucks yeah. if you've purchased all the way through House of Wolves. One hundred and forty after this, and you'll be up to one hundred and forty. Mm-hmm. But meaning comparatively, you remember the Dark Below drops. Yeah. Then you can look at what they did with House of Wolves, and you're paying uh, twenty bucks per drop. So yeah. This is double the price. So you are getting a raid. <laughs> Which you <laughs> got with Dark Below. But you got that with Dark Below. Yeah. But so. you're getting a whole new Sick. enemy class. Rumored, now this is where there, I don't believe there were more of these details, mm-hmm. but if you go back to that marketing leak, there was yeah. supposedly that PowerPoint presentation or whatever that showed the path of, you know, yeah. Vex is to come after the Taking mm-hmm. King and after that. And then there, there was, was all another, the flying pyramids that we never got to see. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it said something on the order of like uh, eight, I think it was eight to 12 like missions mm-hmm. being added. Oh, that leak. I'm talking yeah, like yeah. way back when the game was leaked. Yeah. Um, oh, before that. There was like flying pyramids. And I right. don't think we ever got those. Maybe the Vex, yeah. but I don't think But so. that would be after. But anyway, the yeah. point is, it is a more substantial drop. Mm-hmm. A, a lot more missions that you got in House of Wolves. You will get a raid mm-hmm. and you'll get a new enemy class. What we don't know is how many weapons and items. I mean, as a player, that's one of the biggest things that we depend on. So... Um, so it's hard to say. I think that, like, just to put that out there, it's a little too early to judge. True. We're going to go to E3 and hope this is what we're going to see It's going to blow us away. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> I love Destin. Was, it's going to blow us away. All right. But but no, I think focusing on the on the price tag right now makes yeah. a lot of sense because it is quite hefty. Mm-hmm. And you can make the argument, and some people will not like that I'm about to say this. This is Destiny, but 1. Destiny 5. is a game that okay. So you said Destiny might cost roughly 140 dollars. Is that the number you just well, threw out there? Well, if you purchase all the way but through, but you also put this. in over 140 hours oh, into yeah. this game. Like you are not paying by dollar the, an the hour. hour. Yeah, well, you know <laughs> no, what I'm trying way to say. Less than that. Like, I put in over. 300 hours in Fallout 3, and yeah. there you go. but I bought all the DLC for that too, which so. also <laughs> added yeah. up. Now I'm not yeah. making a case for why this should be 40 dollars. I feel like looking at this list, my knee jerk reaction is this doesn't seem like a Lot, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. I'm looking at a list. So I don't think that's fair to them to True. quickly give them that's a, a really good point. Have a say. snap You're judgment right. on this. You're yeah. right. Uh $40 just seems like such a large number. That's almost the price of a full retail game. And we're getting they can only do so much with this world. Like I have to see what they're gonna release here. Playable Yoshimitsu. You know, uh, <laughs> from Tekken, the you Tekken. can play as Master Chief. Master Chief is Yoshimitsu. a new class. So yeah. uh, like for me, I go back to what I said last week mm-hmm. and we don't have to go down that road again. Mm-hmm. Honestly. No, I don't care. I mean, I do care about all this. This is important. 
a new class is super exciting to have those options. However, mm -hmm. fundamentals have to be fixed. That for me is what has yeah. to come at E3 and that has to be a part vault of this release. Space. If yeah, vault space is still a problem. Mm -hmm. If the new weapons are really just new versions of things that you can oh, the just roll weapons, against. Yeah. Like we're not loving the Queen's weapons, right? Like I yeah. don't feel compelled. In fact, I'm trying to face down Skolos and I'm feeling like crap. I didn't get some of these random high impact drops on these snipers yeah. that I need and there's no option right now in the current mm -hmm. game. Um, well, n not that I've gotten on my rolls. But I don't, you get my point. If I don't have a huge. In, I know what you're saying. I don't have a huge incentive to play right now yeah, either. They it's have like, to fix all right, those there's incentives. new trials gear. I mean, it looks cool, but eh. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to put in that much effort to. I mean, I'm excited. Get a like, new I helmet I, that I don't have anywhere to put. Yeah. You know, that's no, my I issue. Think, with I think it. that's all fair. And when you brought up earlier, excuse it me, me I bumped the mic. Um, you did uh, bring up earlier new weapons will be really cool. Like that's ultimately what drive us. Immediately the vault space thing jumped yeah. in my head. We're like fundamentals. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, man. Like, but <sighs> we want our cake and eat it too. I think yeah. it's worth forty bucks to me, but that's also because like. I, again, take my money. I've played so much in yeah. this game. I enjoy it. I think it has a magic to it that is understated with all the frustration you have. And you find this in some of your favorite games, right? Mm -hmm. Like you often talk about like why I love this game so much and it's hard to explain to people who just it's not for them. But there is a magic mm -hmm. there. So I'm like think about this, getting back into a raid and there's that awesome exotic drop that you have to get at a certain yes. point. Yeah. It's pretty exciting for us to do that type of stuff. But it, raid you weapons get are that great. And raid weapons uh, are great. That's you're get that They're also more. saying September for this. Fran, yeah. you wanted a mid mid year release. No, I didn't. I, I was just saying that for a raid, you mean? No, no, no. For content, you wanted something in June. No, I. I mean, I wanted it. I didn't yeah. think it was going to happen. I've yeah. always sort of said, like, look, I think we were waiting it out. That's what mm -hmm. I said about September. House of Wolves, like 30, yeah. 45 days, mm -hmm. and then let's see what takes us down that road to year. This better year two. blow people away to last us until September. Yes, um, and also we got all June, announcements. all July, all of August. I do want to throw out there though, yeah. and this might be taking a yeah. step back in the conversation, but looking at this list, the one thing I'm not seeing is real estate. I'm yep, not right. seeing any planet. indication of either new planet, new levels. And I think if they can make up the difference in in new, mm. brand new spaces, and we're talking about obviously a raid is right. a new space. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about strikes. I'm talking about missions. I'm talking about like the other places you want people to go that can change the game so from do the you nightfall want, to the daily to the weekly. So what we saw, though, with new strikes and the current missions in House of Wolves, you do get taken – to new places. I you see like what you did there. Damn it, uh, yeah, but, so, <laughs> but, that, but for a lot but, of people, that's not enough. But I wanted clarity. Are yeah. you looking for like a whole new planet and environment? Or do you just mean, because there's a lot new of space areas. on the map. And here's what I read into. If the rumors are true, obviously, that there's a lot of missions, call it up you know, eight to, to 12, and there's like a handful of strikes, you're going to have a lot of new places to play in. I'm sorry, Fran, but if they're going to charge $40 for something where I'm yeah. running through spaces that already exist in the game, I have... A problem with that. If I, you're I running do. back yeah. through, if I'm running sure. back through, like, I'm saying I'm go to the Cosmodrome and then go to that area you've been in and then fight some people. No, I think there's know, going that to be new unlocked like you look areas. at the yeah. you look at the model for uh, MMO expansions and real estate becomes part of that package yeah. in World of Warcraft. In insert name here, that is normally the approach, right? Give people new places to start from, new abilities to use. And new activities to keep them busy, new things to keep. I think them busy. you're going to see that with this as well. I, I, I hope so. I hope that, so. Yeah. that it points. Yeah. I want look, that. It's year two is what this is. Yeah. And I keep calling it Destiny 1.5 for year two, which I believe Destiny 2 will come the following year. Okay. Actually, at the beginning of year three. That's okay. what I believe. I need to see some I don't story. Know but my point is, yeah. I, that's why I believe. Look at the pricing. A lot of signs point to this is substantial. It's not. Yeah. You, you you can see the messaging. This is not just a House of Wolves drop. They're charging you twice the price. I'm this praying to the, RNG Jesus right now. I don't think they're. <laughs> my point is, I yeah. don't think they're trying to get away with just you get a new subclass. Yeah, you when get I, a raid. Yeah, yeah, we already yeah. got a raid, and if all I got out of this was a subclass and a few more strikes and no new areas, I mean that'd be a huge. But given problem. the track yeah. record of the smaller expansions that cost twenty bucks and the low expectations that have now been set because of some of that, because of because of some of that, when I see forty dollars, yeah. I it, it can be yeah, either I mean, or. And I don't want to. I don't want to drag this on forever. Yeah, forty dollars. This is it. Forty dollars is what we paid for Dark Below and House of Wolves. Had well, that been, had that been one drop, I think people would have been very disappointed. Well, for forty the price bucks point. is is what you could get Destiny for it's right now. Like Destiny yeah. one point you can buy for forty bucks these yeah. days. Mm -hmm. Roughly thirty forty dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's a good perspective. Actually, is like you compile Dark Below and you know House of Wolves, so yeah. you get Prison of Elders, you get the raid, you get all that gear, which is yeah. quite a bit mm -hmm. for forty bucks. But we Under have that, that, guys, you might be disappointed for forty bucks. What it's just it's it's too high of a price it's point. A, I feel like the twenty dollars price point should have been Dark Below and House of Wolves together as one release. Oof, you get a, a raid. Of content. It is me. a lot of content, but we deserve it. 
you know, for the price we're that good. we're paying. We deserve it. We no, do. I mean, you're, as a it's player hard base, to define yeah. the value that goes It is very it. hard to it define is. a value um, for what the stuff is. I'm sure Activision a has point. a calculation. Yes, no, it's called I mean, no it's one's called gotten margins it right. over yeah. what you're spending. No, yeah. I mean, legitimately, you do have to place bets and run a business. And yeah. uh, I understand that. But look, I, I, that's I'm not where excited I'm by a the little text. more malleable. Like, honestly, I'm one of those gamers now. Yeah, I paid 60 bucks for Splatoon. And I was like, 60 bucks? Then I'm like, I'm having fun with it. I haven't, you know what I mean? But I do want to emphasize that I do have a lot of respect for... uh, this is a very hard equation to solve. I'm very curious to see in terms of like you know dollar value to the amount of fun. I think that a lot of the game they've made is a great game. We've talked about it all the time. It's a good game. It's why we started a podcast, yeah. right? It's yeah. why we talk about this game every week. So hopefully E3, bring the goods. Yeah. I take leaks like why. this with uh, caution. So Definitely. I'm cautiously There's... optimistic. I'm not excited by text. Yeah. I'm sorry. We've heard the- It's a leak. We've yeah well we've heard this rumor about the the subclasses forever. So let's they've been, they've been talking the way, about you're, that you're, since you're, like the you're first reas- one. Your reasoning, yeah. by the way, why this makes developers and publishers so upset because yeah. they're like, this is not the controlled message. Yeah, exactly. I am not right, and exactly. that's why they get so upset. And okay, meanwhile, we're on the reporting side saying, yeah. give us these leaks. Let's you know? uh, yeah. let, let's those uh, just pull over to the side a bit. Let's talk a little bit about these uh, these subclasses, right? So okay. the, this is a much requested. Yeah. thing for each character class, right? Mm-hmm. Hunters will finally have a void type. Warlocks will finally yeah. have an arc They're just type. getting the Titans damage type they don't, type they don't have. Yeah. But that doesn't excite you at all? It could Why? be a really cool power. Well, think about it. If you, like, the <laughs> Titan yeah. bubble is so it's sought not, after. If it's they add not some, enough info. That's all I'm saying. I know, and you're right. That's why it's hard to speculate. You want to see that kind of stuff. But, but, I mean, does Uh, it excite you, the the possibility of having one more avenue of a subclass, potentially cool new moves? I don't know. Okay, instead of saying we don't know yeah. what's coming, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, what why don't we be? talk about what's rumored? And I'm just curious what you guys uh-huh. think it is, if, if okay. that's okay. okay. What, okay. Hunter says it's a void gravity bow. I mean, any idea what that might be? A gravity bow? Like You shoot people and they float? It almost know. sounds like, yeah, you can yeah. hit something down that's going to like almost suck in or something. Who knows? That I could be kind of neat. I mean, we could speculate, mm-hmm. right? It's kind of fun. Yeah. Warlock, mm. Electrical Storm. That I'm seems sensing like something like, yeah, the Push Scion. everybody away from you. Yeah, I you feel know, like it's yeah. almost... Now, the, the Hunter has that, right? Like, the Arc um, That ti- Titan has, like, uh, the Titan Smash, and I think that, that'll that be what the Warlock I think it's going to be gets. similar, yeah, but yeah. with yeah. Arc. But I think, yeah, it's yeah, going to be more of a... Yeah, because the Hunter version pushes things so away. So Gravity Bow will probably be, like, the Warlock's, uh, you know, Void void uh, Super, where he throws the Nova the Bomb. Nova Bomb, yeah. Could be, yeah, something maybe similar. And then the Titan, they say it's a Solar Flaming Hammer. Uh, that sounds like yeah. another just big smash, but yeah. it sounds almost like a forward. But I definitely uh, have a lot of faith these will all be brand hammers. new. Yeah. It's, it's like the gun. It's like the golden gun, but he has a hammer and he throws no, no, he gets don't three go hammers. Cynical. Don't Sorry, go we, cynical on me. No, no, I, no absolutely. I'm being goofy. But I know you are being goofy. Kind of I just want to be <laughs> sure people on air know we're, you're being goofy. Um, no, I do believe, though, because specials and the feeling mm. of pulling off the special is such a unique thing to Destiny and such mm. a cool part of the way combat unfolds, right? You pop a special and you just run yeah. up to mm. someone with an arc blade and just take care of this, go to town. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this stuff looks yeah. like I, if this is, in fact, what these things are. I don't know what uh, Titan's going to be. Yeah. Like, if yeah. that's another smash attack, that might be a problem. I, I bet you get a big hammer and you hit people with it. That's more likely. Around. Yeah, you probably run yeah. around with a, a Titan smash. Well, because that would be similar to the the hunter's uh, arc blade. Arc blade, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. Like, you get something and you can choose where you move and how fast you and move. And the third person camera is really cool. Titans yeah. are kind of slow, though. Would that, would that work? Whereas not with the not hunter, if you they're quick. had the running. Running effects, you know. Good point. Could be, Good yeah. Point. Maybe it's and just like kind of like you speed up and you just get a hammer and you just tear people apart. That'd be fun. S- solar be makes to, you yeah. faster. But yeah, to your point, Jose, that variety is much needed, and I think it will have a big impact on things. There we go. All right, let's so let's move over topic. to elimination game type was introduced today. Yeah, today. Yeah, today. So. Well, we're actually this is going to release on Friday to oh, pull back the curtain true. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But it was released earlier in the week. Yeah, that's right. The, and, the info. And so, elimination game type. If you're playing Trials of Osiris, you are technically playing this game type. Yeah. But this can be found it. in the PvP mm-hmm. regular standard PvP as an activity you can jump into. Yeah. This is the same intense winner take all three v three action that has defined the Trials of Osiris, yeah. but with several key differences. And no power advantages. It. Interesting. Yeah. So, it's, so it's so training, it's like, but it's not training. Nice. It's like uh, Iron Banner. You but know? it is training because Iron then, Banner yeah, like power, you yeah. get. Yeah, you get to play at any level. You get to practice. Yeah. I wonder how the score. I haven't tried it out yet, but like maybe there'll be a scorecard system. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably, mm-hmm. probably not. It's probably just like no. no, no, no I literally over. think it's yeah, match right. to match. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It's it's really just crucible, right? Mm-hmm. As yeah. you would expect it with yeah. these. 
these amendments. I mean, it's yeah. meaning it's probably skirmish. Uh, well, we know it's 3v3, mm -hmm. but then, yeah, power advantage is disabled, and then um, skill matching as well. It's not like you have to have that yeah. because of that. And then um, team matchmaking. Te yeah, it you does just exist. Yeah, right. Of it course does it exists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is I'm trolling. Possible. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, uh, so there you go. They're solving allies. for that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can't play well, trials. They say go yeah. play elimination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, they believe, just like raids, you need to team up. Well, and this is the a next smart one, move because though. PvP is dropping better gear, right? So you're giving people an, an opportunity to play an yeah. elimination mm -hmm. elimination game type to practice technically for Trials of Osiris, but not get those rewards, and then hopefully make friends to take back. The next one's big. The next one's big. Yeah, Jose. Map cycling is enabled. Why is this big? Explain because to people why. Trials because just, trials, like, you play oh, on one map, map all weekend. Yeah. This, mm. you're going to get a taste of all the different maps that trials will ever be on, mm. and get good at them. Yeah, and so. everyone has their play styles, and sometimes you get a map where you're like, I just, I'm not a sniper. This is driving me nuts. Yeah. like you feel really beaten down if it's not your place. Burning style. Shrine was maps. such a good map yeah. to launch with. Yeah, you know. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Cool, um, cool. And, and then, then rewards and then are rewards. standard to yeah. what they normally are. So meaning it's not like you can go yep. open some new big chest in this. It's just part of the crucible. Well, but still, PvP is dropping much better stuff these days. So yeah. this is still a great cool. time we to introduce this. Right? We actually knew this was coming like a long time ago. We talked about it in my trials preview about how Elimination was supposed right. to launch earlier. Yes. Yeah, because right. they told us about it. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of surprised it took this long to come out. Yeah. It's easy to forget this stuff. In fact, we didn't mm -hmm. even talk about it on the show, but there was that Eververse rumor and everything that went all the way back to pre-release. Yeah. I totally forgot they talked about wanting to have some trading system potentially in Destiny, but that would come later. Yeah. And, and we all went through and forgot about it. I totally mm -hmm. forgot. And we were like, why don't they allow trading? And it's like, <laughs> apparently they've thought about it and they've been working yeah. on it. This rumor about Eververse, who knows? Bungie registered this thing called Eververse. It could have nothing. Yeah. Is it Eververse? I don't remember. I believe so. But it, the idea it is a, is long time ago. a trading yeah. community. So mm -hmm. um, anyway, the point is there's there's a lot of evolution to this game and uh, and things do change mm -hmm. per you know our notes on the leak. It may not be accurate anymore. So I love we'll this elimination game type, though. Just going back to that really yeah. quick. Um, it's exciting that I can play this and just kind of relax and play some multiplayer. Me too. You know, with the team. And not feel like a loser every three minutes. I mean, it is. I feel like it's not it said yeah. enough to some extent, right? Mm -hmm. Like, talk a little bit about that. Well, I, fi I find it's very stressful. Like, you get that loss, and like a lot of times, matches are just camping outside or inside and just waiting. I'm talking about Burning Shrine. Yeah. I didn't play the yeah, other maps. Sure. But uh, yeah, dude, you got to like. If you mess up, you let your whole team down. Your teammates will get frustrated. You know, yeah. If you're, pl I, if you're playing with somebody some that's stories. trying to get let's, nine, let's, let's burn a little. Friendships clock on this. are ruined in Trials of Osiris. Yeah, definitely. People like, get really upset. I get mad other. at people. Yeah. Like I've been partnered with people. I'm like. If you play like that again, I have to bring in a different teammate. <laughs> like <laughs> true. Like you seriously went 0 and 16. Like I you can't be it's on true, my team. It's true. You can't not you know. be offended by that. So this it's is like destined scolding. That, uh -huh. Yeah. That, I mean, but that's what makes it kind of cool that it's so hardcore, but that's yeah. where they did need the solution to like, okay, you can play this game type without It's really that called baggage. Trials yeah. of Lagiri. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well they did the same to me, you know, if I'm not pulling my weight, they're like, uh yeah, I'm gonna run it with somebody else. Like yeah. you, know, you have and to that happens. it's a time investment. I mean it's a time point, investment you know, and like, it's stressful. And if you reset that card, you just waste it all your for time. Sure. Yeah. In trials you play to yeah. win and that's the point. That's yeah. why you're on one map with these parameters. Yeah. Elimination will allow you to play to have some fun. Yeah. What are what are some of your trial stories? Just out of curiosity, we have some time. Nothing, to kill, nothing actually that super unique. I mean, very similar, right? I've had this conversation about this will ruin our friendship. So I've actually played with a couple different groups. Some were yeah. just random, you know, followers, and others were a couple of my friends. And yeah, yeah like things get a little like, you know, apologetic at times. Mm -hmm. Or no, well, one big thing I noticed is you have to have someone who's calling the shots, and you you got to be real careful. Um, mm -hmm. That well, first I won't week. name any names, but I've played with a couple groups, and there was name one names, group where names. somebody was in there, and like it was sort of talked about after of like, oh man, that was just like you I do not like playing with that person, and uh -huh. it was like, well, they didn't mean it, you know, like that's what happens. In oh, trials. because they get aggressive. Because of yeah, they try yeah. to take over, or, you know, this or that, and it's uh, well, anyone who breaks the team is already was it like me? that's a problem. No, was it <laughs> yeah, it yeah, was, was you, Des. Yeah, so it's fine. Afterwards, like yeah, I gotta go. Oh, the point is, you get people that come in like, no, I'm a crucible master, and I'll show you what to do. And it's oh, like, but yeah. wait, this is a team game. and But uh -huh. it's just like the raids. We've talked about it. You have to have – You need a leader. I really recommend having a leader. Like, yeah, fair play, leadership. I'll yeah. actually say, mm -hmm. who's leading? Where do we go? Have you yeah. won before? Like, yeah. Oh, you go. have them fill out yeah. a questionnaire. Yeah. I ask like, if they've won before. I, they're like, oh, I haven't done it before, but yeah. I've been on teams. Like, no. Yeah. Like, I want somebody that knows how to do right. this. Or just Not leave. somebody that read about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I was playing with yeah. a group that, yeah, that kind of – we were – I went in making the assumption that they had, like, a strong plan, et cetera, and then I realized, like, we – 
they weren't really calling shots. And I said, you know what? I haven't played this before, but let me give it a shot and lead. You know, and like that communication for me. And then it was a disaster. Me, no, it <laughs> actually it benefited us. We still ended yeah. up losing in the end. Yeah. But the point is that communication is key. It helps. So I have anyway. I have only dabbled in the Trials of Osiris. I will say I'm not a regular in mm. PvP uh, yeah. by any stretch of the imagination. But we went in on friendly terms and nobody really freaked out about it. I mean, the one thing we were disappointed with is that we got worked. <laughs> we yeah. got worked like Jeez. badly. Um, and at the end, it was like, man, I don't know if I'm having fun with this. Yeah. See, so um, you can try elimination now. Right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, maybe elimination is the is the friendlier alternative. But uh, mm. that said, you know, it's still, it, it it is cool to have a mode like that, uh, like trials yeah. that kind of brings out the hyper aggressive teamwork. Yeah. But at the same time, it is very damaging. So be really careful, yeah, I guess, yeah. guardians, and so, don't don't kill each other over this thing. So is elimination going to be there permanently now? Yeah, they said permanently. Yeah. They clarified just, later. Yeah. They it's made gonna, it sound like it was going to rotate right. originally. And I was like, uh, they were asking me about the news mm -hmm. story. I'm like, they actually don't clarify that this is permanent. This could be like right. uh, salvage. Yeah. Comes around once in a while. But you reached out and got clarification is what you're saying? They or they no. they reached out to, on Twitter and said this is permanent. Right. Oh, so right. it'll mean it launches yeah. this weekend and then it's there to stay yeah. until we further notice. And you know what else is permanent? The next transition. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really bad one. Yeah. But here we go. So uh, moving on to you we asked good, you. You picked some emails. Yeah, I did pick some emails. And uh, thank you very much if you emailed us to letting us know what do you want to see from Destiny at E3. Uh, thank you very much for those emails. Some of them were very obvious. Some of them were not so obvious. I tried to mix this up as best I could. So our first email comes from Michael Scott Mead. Bowden. Oh, sorry. Uh, and he says, aside from the obvious vault upgrade, new level cap, weapon damage, here's my list of wants from E3. And this was pretty much a good summary of a yep. lot of wants we got. So if I don't read your email, sorry about that. The new subclasses, obviously, like filling in that gap for the Titan, the Warlock, the Hunter. Yep. New weapon types. Sidearms are really cool. So yes. more weapon types would be a great addition. Mm -hmm. That's a really good yeah, point. Yeah, you mentioned a railgun. Grenade yeah, launcher. Heavy really sniper, railgun, rail grenade launchers. Give me more weapons. Weapon types. Fun weapon types. More vehicles. Maybe something to to do with ships. It's Something to do with our ships yeah. would be huge. Yeah, for, it is so boring up like there. Like Halo orbit. sort of revolutionized how the first person shooter approached vehicles in the yeah. Warthog and in the tank. Mm -hmm. And Bungie has done nothing with that knowledge yeah. in Destiny. It feels they have some like cool, like feels. the pikes are cool, the new pike is cool, but you just kind of get it yeah, and you don't do anything with right? it. Right? There's no yeah. separation. There's Cabal no missions, you get Slightly. to ride those deceptors or whatever. This is true. They needed a little more of that. They though, need more of that. Like yeah, saying. absolutely. No, mm -hmm. excellent point. Uh, more I want to ride on a turret on top of one of them too. <laughs> oh man, remember when uh, someone would get no. in the tank? Someone would no, ride totally. in different spots or get on the turret. Like that kind of stuff is fun. I want to see that. I think this is a great. And hopping in a banshee in Halo has always been just so cool. So. Taking a banshee by force. Yes. Those days? Oh, hijacking. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You yes. can't hijack in this game. You can't. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. No, yeah. but meaning they've got mm -hmm. the knowledge. It would be very nice yeah. to bring that It would be nice back. to bring some of that over. What else did he say? All right. A uh, wider variety of events in PvE. Uh, we've talked about that. Definitely right new there, bounties, you, public yeah. events, public uh, patrol missions, etc. And a continuation of the main story with more info on the Traveler, the Speaker, the Exo Stranger, and more Dinklage. Where is the Peter Dinklage? I'm His fine with no more Dinklage. Expired. Yeah. Or who knows? Maybe they're holding yeah. him back for it. No, I, I think that that was like he's hanging out with dragons. Done. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. That was a good email. A um, lot of great points there. Who's up next? Next one is from Michael Muse. So there's a lot here. I was hoping there to is. actually isolate a few of these. Um, oh, no, this is something that I feel like we've talked about. I know Vince brought this up in the review. I don't think we talk about it enough on the show, but I mm -hmm. haven't been on every episode, so mm -hmm. forgive me if we've missed this. Too long didn't read. He's got a cover for you. Yeah, he's got a cover for me, which is custom cruise. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, custom yeah. PvP. We've got totally. Like yeah, where is that? Yeah. Like, you should have the oh, yeah, ability to set, to set game types. To that set would up be huge. That would be big. With like, how is there not a custom arena inside of the tower or, or somewhere within, within Destiny? Like, I get you're going for sort of a you know a, a place like an MMO like something yeah. that has like some sort of like permanence to it but how can you overlook yeah. this you know it's 2015 yep yeah. no for sure like th that would be huge for it um, mm -hmm. who knows maybe that's still in the wings maybe that's what's coming with 1.5 mm -hmm. that'd yeah, be yeah. cool okay I, I would love that personally. He said a lot of other stuff. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did. Uh, he just kind of talks about the stuff that he liked in Halo 3 and yes. how he would play with his friends all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. He and liked that, 2v2. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or sh even like uh, mm -hmm. strange game types like Shoddy Snipers was always like kind oh, of fun. Yeah. I know for favorite. Bungie, maybe, um, you know, to them, there's some hesitation to retread mm -hmm. old ground. But yeah. I do feel like in some cases, take some of that knowledge and just tweak some some more of it, you know? Like, make yeah. some changes to that stuff. Jose, yeah. we got about two minutes, so pick the best one. Okay, so let's one. pick the last email mm -hmm. will be... Sorry. We already had it. going to take yeah. a minute. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks and like we only got one. Left. You didn't write his name down. Uh, no, I actually put another one down that I wanted to okay. read. Okay. Okay, I like this one from John Leach, who says, first of all, patrol party. He wants patrol parties to be able to increase. He says okay. 16. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's too oh, much. Wow. I would go for, you know, maybe six. I would like to run out on patrols with up to six guardians. I would want missions with up to six guardians. Yeah. I want sort, mm -hmm. sort of a bigger team battle focus, and I kind of agree with John here. Talking Just about the that, idea like, of that, even in really multiplayer, cool. what about multiplayer, like bigger team battles? Yes, that would be, that'd be cool. Big that'd team be cool. Battle. Custom loadouts. I know it's a thing from COD. He gets mm -hmm. it. But having a preset weapon loadout will be very helpful for the raid, for the nightfall, for a modifier that has arc damage when you need Destiny an arc Destiny item loadout. manager. A lot of people have been yep. talking about it lately. We've talked about it before on the show, but it allows you to do this and I used it I finally used it friend yeah. it is a lifesaver yeah it is nice. really really but you good. have to have a laptop next to you right? you have to have Chrome you need a, a tower or there's there's one for iPhone also an Android Oh, oh, you know, nice. I, I've been yeah. hesitating to try it. For it's not Destiny Item Manager, but it's similar. Yeah, yeah there was some yeah. one called Little Light, I believe. Yeah. Um, I think that might be it. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there's some cool. solutions out there, but it should be in the official game. Yes. Be nice. <laughs> yeah. So nice. should or the Raid official app, game. maybe, or something. Exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> the, and that's a good point. Hopefully, again, fundamentals, yeah. those things come with Taken yeah. King. Let's, let's hope for it. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. the last thing John asked for, which not to harp on this again, but make ships relevant. Definitely. More work needs to be done with ships. I would love to see some space battles. Remember, Halo Reach had those. Yeah. And I will at least give us something for dismantling the blasted things yeah yes. that makes sense you know like, like that, that's a even, reasonable ship request. parts and then you build a that ship said <laughs> i did have <laughs> right. some disappointment with uh, we got some great responses some great yeah. emails but i was i was kind of looking for what do you want to sh them to show you at e3 yeah. instead yeah. of this laundry list right. of things yeah. they want but thank you anyway for those that got through and for those emails that we read like we absolutely appreciate yeah. your support on the show and we're done yeah we gotta yeah. go e3 is upon us we are here Crazy next e3 week planning time we will be at the great show, and right. we will be talking about anything and everything Destiny or finding mm -hmm. the time to. Week of June 15th, and there's going to be a lot of stuff going on there. So go to IGN.com slash E3. Mm -hmm. Of course, always be sure to check us out on Xbox One, PlayStation 4. If you're on iTunes, be sure to drop us a review. We always appreciate it, keeping us uh, keeping the lights on here at Fireteam Chat. Absolutely. All right, cool. And I guess Until that's next it. time. Oh, no. Don't Guardians. No, I did oh. the hand thing. We talked <laughs> what, about we this. timing it? All right. Guardians, Guardians out. out. That was a little better. I you both know we did were different hand signals. <laughs> that was the worst. We're out of here. <laughs>